Is Damon going to get Grayscale in House of the Dragon? At the end of episode 3 of the show, we saw Damon walk out victorious from his battle that he had with the Crab Feeder inside of his cave during the Battle of the Stepstones. The Crab Feeder was riddled with Grayscale, the disease that we know is extremely debilitating and also contagious by the touch. With Damon holding on to Drehar by his infected arm and also being covered in his blood, it left many of us wondering if he was going to have the dreaded Grayscale. Well, I thought I'd take a look and see if it was possible for Damon to now develop the disease, or if he's immune. So let's get into it. Here is Is Damon Going to Get Grayscale in House of the Dragon? Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Damon killed the crab feeder and reigned victorious without the need and help from his brother King Viserys. But it was clear to see that the crab feeder had grayscale, which when in contact with an individual, it can cause it to be passed on to another person. We know that it was definitely grayscale due to the fact that it was confirmed by the writers, and also because we saw the disease get progressively worse on Drehar between episode 2 and episode 3, which was around 3 years later, showing that the disease had progressed. Ordinarily, all it takes is for skin-on-skin -skin contact, or for an individual to touch an object and for somebody to then touch the same object for it to pass over, like we saw with Shireen. So with Damon holding the arm of Drehar and being covered in his blood, it doesn't look like it's going to bode well for him, as it would look as though the grayscale would be passed over to him. With that being said, there are a couple of different theories that are potentially plausible that could give some kind of explanation as to why the disease will not spread to Damon. The first is that the disease could be at bay on Drehar, and may no longer be transmittable. We did see the disease get worse upon Drehar between episode 2 and episode 3, as his skin looked more sore as he was removing the scales, and the scaliness had darkened and spread. But when we look at the men in the Triarchian army that he was leading, there wasn't a single individual that had contracted the disease from him. None of them showed any signs of it. If that is the case and Drehar's Grayscale is no longer contagious, that could be a reason as to why Damon may not get Grayscale moving forward throughout the series. We've only really seen Shireen be an individual that's had Grayscale and no longer become infectious, but that was due to the variation that she had and the fact that she was a child when she contracted it, which has been said to be a better time to get it as it's easier to keep it at bay and potentially cure it. So the disease may not be transmittable in its current state due to the lack of an outbreak amongst his camp. Another reason and theory as to why Damon had no problem in dragging the crab feeder out of his cave after defeating him and may not fall victim to the disease is because of the belief that Targaryens are immune to most diseases that are out there due to the Valerian blood that they hold within them. We've seen cases in the past of Targaryens such as Daenerys coming into contact with Jorah, who had grayscale at the time, and the disease didn't pass over to her, showing the superior side to the Targaryens in being immune to a disease that's extremely contagious and once caused an epidemic. They are able to withstand certain diseases that would ordinarily impact other individuals. Damon, with that knowledge of his superior blood may allow him to be confident enough to feel as though the disease wouldn't take a hold of him, despite it being present on his victim. I do hope that it does get addressed in the next episode or beyond, as I feel it's something that they could certainly do with being confirmed or denied, as there are some theorised reasons as to why he may not have it, but I feel it's all just speculation at the moment. King Viserys has a disease that's currently being treated, so it shows that the purity of the blood of the dragon isn't something that can necessarily keep disease and infection at bay forever. It would be an interesting spin to the show if Damon were to get Grayscale, if he has contracted Grayscale, it may not be present upon him for several years, so maybe after the significant time jump halfway through the season, it could be visible, as it can take time for it to form on the individual. So I feel it's something that we're going to have to wait and see over the next few episodes. So, there you have it. Is Damon going to get Grayscale in House of the Dragon? If you want to see more videos on House of the Dragon, such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button, or alternatively you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you want to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. Do you think Damon is going to get grayscale? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.